Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about Indian paradigms on psychological knowledge. Some of the significant Indian paradigms on psychological knowledge are Yoga, Bhagavad Gita, Buddhism, Sufism and Integral Yoga. We have already discussed about Buddhism, Bhagavad Gita, Sufism and Integral Yoga in my previous videos. Yoga is an old discipline from India. It is both spiritual and physical. Yoga uses breathing techniques, exercise and meditation. It helps to improve health and happiness. Yoga is the Sanskrit word for union. A person doing yoga will move from one asana to another. Asana here means posture. For example, the Surya Namaskar contains 12 poses of asanas, one after the other and it is said to help balance the body and the soul. Surya Namaskar is literally translated as the sun salutation. Some of the important yoga words are Yama talks about the positive rules of meditations. Niyama is about the prohibitory rules of meditations. Asanas are the physical postures and movements. Pranayama is the breathing technique. Pratyahara is about controlling the mind. Dharana means gazing inward. Dhyana involves meditation with object and Samadhi means meditation without object. Let's take a look at the types of yogas. Yoga classified based on mind and body are Raja Yoga that emphasizes the most on exercise, Hatha Yoga that emphasizes the most on exercise of physical body. Yoga classified based on way of spiritual life are Gyan Yoga is a way of knowledge. Karma Yoga is a way of work. Bhakti Yoga is a way of worship. Yoga classified based on a way of other things are Swar Yoga emphasizes the most on breathing. Kriya Yoga emphasizes the most on blending Karma Yoga, Gyan Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. I hope you like these videos. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.